Act as the number one best-selling contact and customer manager trusted by individuals, small businesses, and sales teams. In this video, we'll look at how to begin using your ACT Premium Cloud account today. To begin, simply go to the welcome email that you received from ACT. It'll look something like this. The subject line should read, Welcome to ACT Premium Cloud. In this email, you can immediately jump right into a blank database in ACT. Simply click the Login button. Or, if you'd like to migrate your current data into ACT, look for the button that says Migrate Existing Data. When you click that button, you'll be taken to the data migration screen. Follow the steps on this screen to upload your database file to an ACT migration technician. If you have some questions about this process, or maybe you'd like it explained in greater detail, no problem. Just scroll down on this page and click this link to watch the data migration video tutorial. Then, once you've completed the steps on this screen and uploaded your database file, your data will be delivered inside ACT within one business day. We'll send you a separate email with specific instructions to access your account at this point. Once you're ready to log into ACT, you'll need your username and password. If you chose to start from a blank database, your username and password will be given to you in the original welcome email. If you chose to migrate your database, you'll need to use your ACT database username and password that you used when you uploaded your data. To log in, simply type your username and password and then click the login button. Would you like to change your password? Or maybe you'd like to invite some of your team members to try ACT Premium Cloud with you. These are both easy to do, and here's how. To change your password, go to the Tools menu and select Preferences. When the Preferences window opens, click General, and then click the Set Password button. Enter your current password in the first text field, and then your new password in the next two fields. When you're all set with that, click OK, and your new password will be set. To invite other people on your team to try ACT Premium Cloud, we'll go back to the Tools menu bar and select Manage Users. The list of your current team members will show here. To add a new account for a team member, click the Create New User link. From here, follow the steps to define who your user is, including their contact name, their security role, and password rules. Once you're finished with that, you'll be able to send user ID information to the new user on your team. Now that you're in the product, what's next? Before we do anything, let's take a survey of the layout items that we will always see in ACT. First, we have the menu items along the top. This gives us detailed access to the features within ACT. We also have the navigation pane along the left, which allows us to search or switch between contacts, calendar, companies, and so on. The global toolbar at the top right part of the screen gives us the most commonly used commands in ACT. These buttons will change based upon the context of the content that you're viewing in ACT. Finally, if we ever get confused with something or we don't know how to proceed, we can always go to the help area, which contains step-by-step -step instructions, training videos, and explanations for nearly every feature and function of ACT. Let's take a moment now and look briefly at what ACT can do. Let's say that I went to a trade show back in October and I met a lot of people. Some of them I hope will become valuable contacts for me to increase my business. So I want to create a contact record in ACT for some of these people. Here's how I do that. From ACT, I'll click on Contacts, and then I'll click the New button. This contact's name is Robert Barker, so I'm going to enter his details here. Once I've entered all the information from Robert's business card, I'll click the Save button. Now when I go to my list view of contacts, I'll see that Robert Barker is now in my database. And while I was at the October trade show, I met several other people. So I want to make an exclusive offer to them since they sought me out at the show. In ACT, I'll create a group that includes all of these contacts. And even though they don't work at the same company, I can still group them together however I want. Here's how to do that. First we'll go to Groups. And then again, I'll click the New button. Now I need to give this group a name. I'm just going to call it October Trade Show. I'll give it a quick description. And then I'll click Save. 
My new group now shows up in the list on the left. Now to add contacts to this group, I simply click this button, Add Remove Contacts. At this point, I can choose to either add contacts manually by searching for them, or I can create some dynamic rules which will automatically populate my group based on those rules. For now, I'm just going to manually add these contacts. First, I'm going to locate Robert and add him. And I'll go through my list and add all the other ones to this group as well. After I've added my contacts, just simply click the OK button. And now I can see that this group contains these contacts that I've added. So I'll click OK. Now whenever I look up this group, I can see the contacts in the list below. So also at the trade show, Robert Barker expressed some interest in one of my products. I think we have a good chance at landing a deal here, so I'm going to create an opportunity in ACT. Now this will allow me to keep track of this deal through the sales cycle all the way to the end. Here's how to create an opportunity. First I'll click Opportunities on the left, and then I'm going to click the New button. Now I need to give my opportunity a name. From here I can choose the process and the stage of this opportunity. I'm going to say this is my sales cycle, and because this was the initial communication with Robert, I'll leave it at that stage there. I'm going to give it an estimated close date of about three months. And then because I want to connect this opportunity with Robert, I'm going to click Contacts, and I'm going to add Robert to this opportunity. Now that everything's all set, I can follow this opportunity through the sales cycle to its close. And I mentioned earlier about offering a special deal to the folks that I met at the trade show in October. Well, I can use ACT eMarketing to send an email campaign to this group that gives them all the details and makes it easy for them to say yes. Here's how. I'll click eMarketing. From the eMarketing screen, I'll click the Send Campaign link. Now here I can choose who to send this email to. I can use the current contact, but that's only one person. I really want to send it to my October trade show group. And since I already have them looked up, I'll just select the current lookup. I'm going to send this email from myself, and I'm going to give this email a subject. Now I need to find the e-marketing template that I created earlier. It's in my seasonal categories and it's called Holiday Launch Showcase Details. All I have to do now is send it. I can choose to send it now or send it on a future date. I don't think I want to send it today. I want to send it tomorrow, Tuesday, just before lunch. The last thing I need to do is check this box that certifies I agree to the policies for email and then click OK. ACT lets me know that my email campaign is in the queue and they will send me an email as soon as it is sent. The last thing I want to show you in ACT is the dashboards and reporting. So let's go to the dashboard real quick. The dashboards in ACT allow me to see updates on the status of my opportunities or activities or contacts. What we're looking at right now is the opportunity dashboard. This shows me some graphical representations of all the opportunities in my system. This component shows the opportunity pipeline by stage. I can see my closed sales to date. I can look at my top 10 opportunities on this dashboard as well. Thank you for attending this Getting Started demonstration. And if you have any additional questions on getting up and running in ACT Premium Cloud, be sure to visit your welcome page for links to video tutorials, knowledge base resources, and more.